a very good morning and a warm welcome to Reverend Father Principal, Reverend Father Manager, respected teachers and all my dear friends. I am glad to be here today. We are present here for this interreligious prayer service where we forget all our differences and come together as one single community of people. We are all aware of the current pandemic crisis which has enveloped the whole world in its grip. So, my dear friends, the theme for today's interreligious prayer service is Heal the World. The words in themselves are so powerful that when we hear them, we know that they convey a message of total healing to one and all. In this pandemic, there are so many of our brothers and sisters who are struggling to get back to a normal life. Some who are looking forward to being helped. Some who are wanting a moment of joy and still there are some who in spite of losing their loved ones are trying to bring back a smile on their faces. So, let us forget our differences and come together to participate in this interreligious prayer service. I would like to begin by giving you a brief introduction of the various religions that are prevalent in our country. Hinduism According to many scholars, Hinduism is the world's oldest religion with its roots and customs dating back to more than 4,000 years. It was founded in India. The followers of this religion are called Hindus. Hindus worship more than one god, and their most celebrated festival is Diwali. The holy book of the Hindus is the Bhagavad Gita. Now, let us look at a few traditional prayers of this religion. Islam Islam was founded by the Prophet Muhammad who was born in 570 AD in Mecca and settled in Medina in 622 AD. The followers of Islam are called Muslims. Muslims are monotheistic which means that they believe in only one God that is Allah. Their most celebrated festivals are Eid ul-Fitur and Eid al-Adha and their holy book is the Quran. Now, let us look at a few traditional prayers of this religion. Wohi kafi hai sada sarvada Mera ishu hai mujhko bala Wohi kafi hai sada sarvada Dukh mein, rog mein, har musibat mein Mere man wohi kafi hai tujhe Dukh mein, rog mein हर मुसीबत में मेरे मन वो ही काफी है तुझे In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen A reading from the book of Isaiah The Lord says Let my people return to me Remove every obstacle from their path Build the road and make it ready. I am the high and holy God who lives forever. I live in a high and holy place, but I also live with people who are humble and repentant, so that I can restore their confidence and hope. I give my people life, and I will not continue to accuse them or be angry with them forever. I was angry with them because of their sin and greed. And so, I punished them and abandoned them. But they were stubborn and kept going their own way. I have seen how they acted, but I will heal them. I will lead them and help them. And I will comfort those who mourn. I offer peace to all, both near and far. I will heal my people, but evil people are like the restless sea, whose waves never stop rolling in, bringing filth and muck. 
There is no safety for sinners, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sarvesham Sastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Sastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटी समप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वरा गुरुर्साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरवे नमः ओम त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमी वंदना मृत्योर्मोक्षीयृता ओं भूर्भुस्व तुर्वरेण्यम हबर्गो दीमह तो यो न प्रचोदया Dear friends let us pray together to God to make our life easier safer and provide us with great health and happiness Tere sat ke me aakash chare na ko dine mila pe dino ne kal ma pada गच्छामि 
let our response be lord hear our prayers please repeat lord hear our prayers god our creator we thank you and praise you for your beautiful creation and your protection over us forgive us for the times we have taken the earth reduce for granted and wasted what you have given us transform our heart and mind so that we would learn to care and share to touch the earth with gentleness respecting all living things may we be generous in sharing and to lead a day's meal with those who go without food during this pandemic response lord hear our prayers Father, we place before you our our principal teachers, administrative, and school staff. We pray for your blessings over their life, their work, their livelihood, and their family. Bless, guide them with your wisdom, so that they inspire the the students under their care. Most of all, we pray for all the students as as they pursue their. education in the midst of pandemic bless all the students with special needs so that they are not discouraged embrace all the staff members students and parents with your love keep them safe from all illness and protect them from all harm listen to our prayer o lord response lord hear our prayers God we know that your love is infinite and that you care about all areas of our life we place in your hands our loving country give our leaders wisdom and integrity to lead our country in the best direction as the days become increasingly dark in our country due to pandemic we pray that the light of your love will shine on this land and be free of the corona virus thank you lord for our country listen to our prayers o oh lord response lord hear our prayers response lord hear our prayers for all my deeds we bring before you all the students who will be lighting their exams guide us and give us the understanding and knowledge that comes only from you during our online exams help us to focus on our studies and keep us away from distraction around us keep us away from temptation of copying and cheating help us to care for our exams sincerely listen to our prayer o lord response lord hear our prayers Listen to our prayers, 
रिस्पॉन्स लॉर्ड यर आ प्रेस Dear teachers parents and my dear students today we have set aside a special time to pray for each other and to pray to god to heal the whole world as we conduct today's interreligious prayer service it reminds each one of us that we are all created by god and we are all brothers and sisters to each other no matter what religion we follow we need to help each other to live a life of freedom and brotherhood the pandemic has brought the whole world to its knees to pray to god to heal the world and let our sincere honest humble prayer to god be god heal the world god bless you all Just